What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. This is just gonna be a quick one today. Um, on the mower. So, as you saw in the mowing video, this thing started chattering so bad. Um, I didn't get it on video, but I should have, but it, uh, it really was clattering. And at the end of the video, we, I pointed this out that this whole thing was that the rest of this is all tight and then you come down here and it just it's really loose right there at least this piece is and then I didn't quite look close enough because you come right in here if you can see in there she's split bud this bar here and this bar here that's attached to it and then you come up here again and she split there too <laughs> so as it turns out this mower is essentially unusable until we can get that fixed but um, it's not that hard to fix you just have to take the cutter bar apart and I mean it's not too bad it's just 110 volts but I mean it comes out so this this bar here with these teeth on it is like 300 and then the plate behind it this bar here under it is like 50 or something like that so we're gonna go ahead and fix it um, you'll see that in an upcoming video but uh, as far as the grass goes, we're looking pretty good. Um, I've been tedding it for a couple days. I filmed the one day, and then today I didn't film because I already had enough footage to make a decent video. But, I mean, this stuff's only been on the ground for two days, and it's already looking amazing. Like, it's drying real nice. It's... This field's already getting kind of crunchy. Of course, this field's like the one that gets the most sun. I mean, this stuff's looking amazing. It's got a really nice color to it. It's gonna make some great hay. It's been nice and windy and cool for the past few days, so it's been drying really well. The next, uh, tomorrow's gonna be about the same as today, only a little hotter, right around 80. Today's about only about 70. And then, by Wednesday, it's gonna get real humid, hot, Southern Maryland summer. <laughs> so, it's gonna be 93 on Wednesday. And, yeah. Oh, sh Excuse my French, but I just realized that is about to explode. I gotta let the air out of this. That thing gonna blow. I gotta let the air out of this thing or it's gonna blow up. She is really starting to come apart. Let me get rid of it. saw it <laughs> glad I caught that in time holy crap let me show you again what was happening but I had to do it quick this whole uh, edge right here you see where the separated the belts separated and it was just blowing out you can even still see a little bit where it was bulged up right there I mean, but it was just ballooned all the way around there there's still maybe I don't know five pound air in it but holy crap well I guess I'll show you one other thing I want to do with the tether um, so whenever I'm running with this thing and the hay is getting dry 
this uh, these baskets create so much wind pushing this way and the tractor is of course moving that way too so it will blow the dry hay up and it'll suck it up in here and it'll all bunch up right in here and get wrapped around the drive shaft and all kinds of other stuff and that's another thing is this pinion seal is just she's leaking real bad but it's fine so what I need to, what I'm gonna do, I think, is I'm gonna take some of this mesh. And I'm gonna cut me a triangle out that goes from here about just sort of close this off so that when the hay does blow forward, it doesn't just waft back up into here. It'll just sort of stay down there where it's supposed to be and go out the back. So. That's something I'm probably gonna be working on after this hay cut. I mean, it's it's workable. You just gotta clear it out after every field. I mean, it's not terrible, but it, uh, it's something that's needed done for a while. I just haven't messed with it. So, but anyway, um, we might be back with some more Tedding tomorrow, or maybe we'll just wait for the baling. But we, could be bailing some tomorrow, but I doubt it. If it's um, if it's if it looks dry enough, obviously I will probably do one of the fields maybe tomorrow. So, which means I'll have to drag that thing out of the weeds over there, um, the old hay rake. Yep. So, yeah, I mean that is an option. So. I guess just stay tuned for that so um thanks for watching this short little escapade about the mower and the explosive tire and then maybe some plans for the tether so yep thanks for watching make sure to rate comment subscribe and click the little bell and i will see you guys in the next video